you travel to North Korea. You travel on a guided tour in the country of North Korea. There in the capital, you hear the tour guide speaking to an African woman, and she responds in fluent Korean. After speaking to her for a while, she agrees to sit down and talk over a coffee. How do you speak such fluent Korean, you ask? This is my home, she says. Your home? North Korea? What do you mean? She just smiles. Boy, does she have a story for you. It's a dark day in Equatorial Guinea, September 1979. The former president, Francisco Macias, overthrown by his own nephew, is sentenced to death and is killed by firing squad. His wife, fearing for the safety of her daughters and her son, takes them on a trip to North Korea and puts them in the care of her late husband's friend, the founder, the leader of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, and then returns to Equatorial Guinea, abandoning her children halfway across the world. In the following decades, Kim would keep the promise he made to Francisco Macias that if anything happened to him, he would look after his children. Monica, too young to understand, she would forget her home language, Spanish, and completely immerse herself in the North Korean life. As the only black people in the entire country, life in boarding school becomes very challenging. It helps that their de facto grandfather, Kim Il-sung, calls them regularly to check up on them and offers help whenever he can. From there on, Monica's life will be filled with identity issues, intense learning, rediscovery of the outside world, and a long journey to understand who her father was and why he had to die.